okay so we'll be discussing the chapter reproduction in organisms right what is the content of this chapter actually this chapter is a, it gives a brief information about all the chapters that we have read before right especially uh, the information that we have talked about in morphology right so everything is there we'll just go through uh, please take out your pdf the first point about pdf talks about what since we are talking about reproduction the first thing that we start with something is called as a lifespan right so please read the definition of lifespan lifespan maniki the period from lifespan maniki hoy the birth to death but we have to talk about a word that is called as natural death right birth or pra natural death or jundo time period that time period is called as what uh, lifespan talking about lifespan uh, again two words are associated maximum lifespan and average lifespan maximum lifespan ki hoy greatest age reached by members of a species aru average lifespan when you talk about the average what do you do you talk about or you take a collection of members it's not about the individual thing that you are calculating right average lifespan ula bole hole ketaman besi organisms ba eta population or he ami average lifespan ula if you are talking about the individual uh, then it is not the average that we talk about kintu instead of that we use a word that is called as maximum lifespan right next a word called as life expectancy number of years an individual can expect to live is called as life expectancy i think there is nothing to explain here if you are talking about lifespan lifespan if you want to calculate or if you want to count lifespan of wild animals it is comparatively what tedious and it is comparatively difficult as compared to the lifespan in case of domestic animals taking two types of animals domestic animals or wild animals lifespan car calculate kribole easy hobo it's always the domestic animals why because those are the animals that you see in front of your eyes right wild animals is very hard to track track them so life expect lifespan ki hoy domestic or easy hoy wild or hard hoy next uh, talking about lifespan talking about plants and animals who will have a, great, a greater lifespan it is always the plants that will have a greater lifespan as compared to animals duta example diya ase sikua uh, especially the question is asked about sikua out of the two examples sikua is important sikua i think you remember it's an example of ke gymnosperms right okay next the chart life span of different different for example what's the life span of rose what is the life span of rice butterfly etc this chart is given in your ncrt book so obviously you have to study right ekini asile introduction and next we start with the word called as reproduction talking about reproduction we understand what is reproduction formation of like species is called as reproduction why do organisms reproduce for continuation of the species right talking about reproduction broadly divided into two types asexual and sexual now i don't think we need to discuss the difference between asexual and sexual it's well understood now right in spite of that in your pdf in your notes since we have already given you the note asexual and sexual reproduction comparative study eta kora ase chart ekon kora ase just go through that and see whether you have understood or not asexual and sexual difference ekhane to ami porhi aisu no agoteo so many times we have read দিয়া <laughs> 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 কার সবরে এটা স্পেসিফিক লাইফ স্প্যান থাকিব ন তাহাতে নোয়ার যেটা এজ হই যায় তাহাতে মাস বেশি হই যায় মাস বেশি হইলে অ্যাক্টিভিটি স্লো ডাউন হই যায় অ্যাক্টিভিটি স্লো হই ডাউন হইলে গ্রাজুয়ালি এজিং প্রসেস রাইট না না বুকত বহাই দিয়া না দিস আর অল রিসার্চ ইউ ক্যানট বি স্পেসিফিক এটা হিউম্যান বিং অর লাইফ স্প্যান কিমান 
you cannot say 80 years, you cannot say 60 years also. Can I, on an average, I mean, 80 as a right? That does not mean that 80 years ago. These are all research things. So, sexual and asexual reproduction, I think we understood no? the differences. Next, asexual reproduction, again we have discussed each and everything about asexual reproduction. Uniparental, offsprings, clones, morphologically same, right. Next is if you talk about asexual, the different types of asexual reproduction, methods, pasta sota method, fission, budding, fragmentation, regeneration, etc, etc, right. Go through the points. Asexual reproduction is generally common among single celled organisms, plants and animals with simpler organization, absent in higher non vertebrates and vertebrates. Asexual reproduction methods, six types. What are the six types? Fission, budding, sporulation, fragmentation, regeneration, and vegetative reproduction. According to some, vegetative reproduction is a third type of reproduction, but according to NCRT, vegetative reproduction is a part of asexual reproduction itself, right? Okay. Next, binary fission, explain kore ba ligba nike? Binary fission zanu ni na zanu, right? It's a, the most common type of, uh, I mean, reproduction that we discuss in case of bacteria or single cell, no? What happens? Two process, karyokinesis and cytokinesis the nucleus will elongate and take a shape of a dumbbell right and ultimately the cytokinesis is over and it will split into two this is what is called as binary fission binary fission could be of three types it could be irregular it could be longitudinal and it could be transverse depending on which organism we are talking about right if we are talking about euglena in euglena also we see binary fission but that could not be an example of a transverse binary fission it will be a longitudinal binary fission thick tenneke we have something called as irregular irregular binary fission is seen in case of amoeba so what you study from here is just the examples not the definition from mcq point of view okay so uh, binary fission Fission has been divided into two types, binary fission and multiple fission. Binary fission means ki one parent will produce two offsprings, multiple fission one parent will produce many offsprings, right. Binary fission again is of three types, irregular, then longitudinal and transverse. Next coming to the next type of asexual reproduction that is budding. What is budding and what, what is the example that you remember whenever we talk about budding is yeast, no. East monothake or hydra monothake. So, these two examples are important. So, budding is a process which is seen both in case of plants and animals, right. In case of plants, actually we talk about it as fungi, yeast, right. And in case of animals, budding could be of two types, endogenous and exogenous. What do we understand by the terms? If the bud is formed within the body of an organism, that is called as endogenous. It is superficially formed, kora hoi, ta kami ki ko, exogenous. Endogenous budding is found in, exogenous budding is found in. Endogenous budding coat by sponges, Mane inside the body of the sponge you see the bud formation. Our exogenous is something that you see in case of hydra. Mature job is a separate for individual form. Current eta eta bade ki form kore, individual se form kore. Okay, again what is important? Examples. Next, the word called as sporulation. Sporulation, spore formation, different types of spores we have studied during fungi. Juice spores, sporangiospores, chlamydospores, we have studied examples important. Fragmentation, whenever we talk about fragmentation as a means of reproduction, the first word that we remember is filamentous forms. Pune fragmentation undergo kore, filamentous forms we like fragmentation undergo kore, right? And it's generally seen in algae, fungi, bryophytes, theratophytes, etc, etc. Next we have regeneration, piece of details of DRS, regeneration money, forming a new individual being formed from the lost part or the lost part gets regenerated, no? We have two types of regeneration, piece of DRS, we will be talking about. The best example of regeneration is planaria as one example and lizard as the other example, right? Next. Binary fission in details, they are 
just look into the diagram and then you will understand the writings. First key this is simpler or irregular, irregular binary fusion is seen in case of amoeba that is only thing that you will remember. Next is longitudinal, longitudinal is something that is seen in case of euglena, I think the diagram is clear. Next is transfers, the most common type of binary fusion we talk about in case of bacteria or unicellular organisms. Transverse binary fusion no example ki diya se paramecium. Macro or micro thake, so divide hoi zai. <coughs> Example about planaria and little discussion about planaria has been given, just see. Planaria ki hoi, it is a worm, right. The exterior part gets attached with a substratum, it splits into two halves and each half forms back the original organism again. This is what is called as regeneration in case of planaria. How does the process occur? You do not have to buy heart. What you need to remember? The example of regeneration. Keneke hoi ki bustu elongate kore blag nalage. Next multiple fission. What is multiple fission? One organism giving, uh, uh, I mean reproducing many offsprings at the same time multiple fission by the process of fission. Seen in case of amoeba, amoeba the information the asset just go through the point. In amoeba, we see both binary fission and multiple fission. Binary fission during favorable condition, multiple fission during unfavorable condition. What happens during unfavorable condition? Something called as cyst formation, right? They will form a wall in and around themselves and within that wall they will reproduce or binary fission will take place. At the onset of favorable uh, condition, the wall gets broken down and new MEB are formed. Swap or is one? Multiple fission is also seen in plasmodium. Plasmodium by way, I think we know this word, right? Plasmodium malaria, right? So multiple fission is seen in case of amoeba, it is also seen in case of plasmodium. In plasmodium multiple fission occurs in, it occurs in two words we have, one is called as sejant and the other is called as oocyst. Multiple fission or part 2 porha ki ba doubts asa jiri huda. Plasmodium 5x ki hoi microorganism right causes ki malaria who carries it the anopheles mosquito right and then so if it carries uh, so we have that microorganism in two places it will be found inside the body of the mosquito it will be found inside the body of the organism also right so jedi organism to vitor thake we have one particular name for that or jedi Anopheles mosquito to Vitor Taket, then we have another name for that. We have two names, one is called as what? Shizont, our next is called as Oocyst. Multiple fission or sporulation? Multiple fission to do binary fission, hobo, right? Binary, binary fission or Nista process, it is by the process of fission. Nucleus will divide and then many parts will be formed, cytoplasm will divide and then it will form, right. Spore formation or ki hoi generally, normally if we talk about spore formation, we can talk about meios meiosis also. Spore mother cells undergo meiosis and it will produce spores, right. Yate ki hoi, they, remember the diagrams we have drawn, conidia and sporangiospores, no. Eta specific eta jegat jedi structures, generally plants or, I mean we use the word spore formation, right. Or in case of uh, I mean unicellular organisms that I mean generally keep on uh, fission. Huh? 
correlation bully? Or that all of the binary fusion diasa? Multiple Process to AKT was to individual form for a single cell organism form for a tapra organism form for a no. Kinu Kotaruko generally spore formation is related with plants, plants fully comba, fungi fully com, mainly tahator. Right? Fission is something that's related with bacteria, amoeba, like that. Right? So specifically, subolegular difference to Ekunai. It is a process that is formed and accordingly it is named. Right? So happy I'll go through the line and see at exactly line the asset. Right, next budding information they are saying budding in case of yeast and budding in case of hydra. Next page of Swa. Please read the paragraph, budding origin to paragraph as If you have doubts, please ask. Budding in case of yeast and budding in case of animals. In case of animals, we see two types, endogenous and exogenous. Exogenous budding in case of hydra, why is it called as exogenous? Because it develops external to the body. In case of sponges, we have an internal bud that is called as gamules. Sponja part to porha, porhi palai, jintu word gamules are said, that word is very important. Uh, if you remember, we have talked about this word during plant kingdom also. We have uh, referred to markensia, markensia ki asile, gamma ka pasile, no? Kiri yate ki asile, gamule asile. So, duita word confused no huba, right? Generally, question hai tuya hai, gamule is a structure found in, gamma ka is a structure found in, right? Details has been given, Iman details na lage. Sponger, Vitor, Keneke, Gamule form kore, Arkeosiocyte ki hoi, Eblak na lage. Buds are formed within the parent body in case of endogenous, seen in freshwater sponges and few marine sponges. Internal buds in case of sponges are called as gamules. The structure of a gamule is given below. Details has been given for just reading purpose. Mukhasta kori pa na lagi Is it clear? Next, fragmentation. Fragmentation seen in. Again, what is important? Examples. After fragmentation, we have regeneration. Regeneration, NCRT is due to example the ASM, hey to hey him. As far as the PDF is concerned, we have given something extra. Two more words related with regeneration, epimorphosis or morpholexis. Regeneration is of two types, epimorphosis and morpholexis. What is the difference between the two? Please read the statement. Replacement of the lost part that is called as epimorphosis. Especially the type of regeneration in case of a lizard. What happens in a lizard? The tail gets snaps off. After some time, the lizard grows back the tail again, right? So, what it has done is it has grown back the lost part. A called lost part to the grow correct, it will have process to come become epimorphosis. But from the lost part, if a new individual is formed, then it is called as morpholexis. In case of lizard, again let us take the example, in case of lizard also, tail dull, it gets snaps off. Does the tail form a new lizard? No. So, if it forms, the process would be epimorpholexis. 
ঠিক আছে কিন্তু লিজার্ড ইজ এন এক্সাম্পল অফ রিজেনারেশন উইথ টাইপ অফ আ রিজেনারেশন ইট ইজ এপি মরফোসিস and morpholexisot ki diye se planaria is the example of morpholexis where what happens to planaria it is just one worm it gets snaps into two eta part hoy etu eta part hoy this part will grow back to again this worm this part will again it grows back to the entire worm this process is also regeneration lizard is also re regeneration but both the process are different iman details or no kude just remember the examples next स्पोर फर्मेशन और स्पोरुलेन स्पोर फर्मेशन गोटे डिटेल्स फांजाइट कर माइनूट सिंगल सेल थीन आई मीन थीन और थिक वॉल रिमेम्बर द डिस्काशन ड्यूरींग फांजाइ क्लास थीन वॉल स्पोर और थिक वॉल स्पोर कि आेभरेबल कंडिशन आनफेभरेबल कंडिशन न थिक वॉल हम कि हम भर रिजार्व फूड थ right to survive during the unfavorable condition and if you are talking about thin wall spore those are the spores that are formed during favorable we have also used certain words called as endospores and exospores remember endospores if it is found within the sac like structure sporangium ase sporangium or bhitorot spore to ase that is called as endospores right hyphae ase hyphae uporot spores bolu ase that is called as ki exospore conidia is an example of exospore sporangia spore is an example of endospore hmm. Hmm. motile spores are called as zoospores types of spores i don't think we have to do the discussion here because each and everything we have written and discussed during fungi right different types of spores chlamydospores oidia conidia monodacent and juice spores chlamydospores oidia conidia do you want the explanation again because in morphology we have done no morphology no biological classification fungi right so please refer from that part out of the different spores that we have discussed maximum question is asked from which type of a spore conidia right conidia example penicillin or aspirin please 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 mute yourselves okay cover mic to on ase de mute kori lo please mute kori lo okay next is vegetative reproduction vegetative reproduction also we have discussed morphology yes or no right corms offset stolon runners e black discuss kori silu nai modified stem modified roots ne sob pahori golu ne ki when we talk about vegetative reproduction we remember something called as vegetative propagation also how does a plant reproduce as vegetatively by the vegetative parts of a plant which parts are we talking about roots stems leaves etc talking about roots we have talked about tap root and adventitious root modified tap root modified adventitious root similarly we are talking about stems the four different types of stems aerial subaerial underground etc etc we have talked about hmm. first i cannot hear you which page ha huh? vegetative reproduction point number 14 बाल्ब की लिखा चुना लीफ बेसिस इनर वन आर फ्लैशी एंड एडिबल वेन एवर यू टॉक अबाउट बाल्ब instead of reading the sentence first remember the example onion garlic lily these are bulbs 
right the part that we take or the that spherical thing that we see it is nothing but a collection of leaf bases right that is what is called as a bulb together with bulb we have discussed something called as tunicated and non tunicated bulb if it has the thin layer of cells that is called as tunicated in case of what in case of onion non tunicated or naked bulb in case of lily again if you are talking about tunicated simple tunicated and compound tunicated simple tunicated only one sheet of cells in case of onion compound in case of garlic each and every clove will have its individual tunica right next we have corm when you talk about corm we have to remember about colocasia it is a condensed spherical structure it will have nodes and internodes it will have scaly buds right so these are the differences it grows vertically beneath the soil bears nodes scaly buds internodes diagram to kind of castle something like this i think you have seen the colocasia no right brown in color and then you have something 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 here 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 right so this is a node this is a node this part is called as a internode obviously it will keep hoy stem right then you have brown here scale leaves right what is the shape spherical kya hua you are looking into the picture okay as far as this section is concerned please read it from the morphology part okay because morphology we have given it more details and more precise classification is something that we have dealt in that chapter not here content is the same right stem or modification as a root or modification se corpora poriba morphology par poriba right examples ek ek ta ase out of this question kiya hai examples then uh, runner offset stolone examples bilak offset or eta line birat important asile no cluster of what hair a cluster of leaves above or a tuft of hair below right you have this structure this is a node from the node you have leaves and from the node you have hair like roots this is called as a offset generally seen in case of key water plants hydrophytes runner the base example grasses why is it called as runner because the stem runs along with the ground right that is called as a runner next offset we understood examples important the line is important stolon long lateral branch arising from the base of the stem it first grows obliquely upwards remember the diagram suppose this is a plant right it has it grows this stem will grow up and then it will bend the point where it touches will develop roots again and again it will have a new plant this is how, what is called as a right you have this part arc so that is what is called as a stolon grows obliquely upward and then bend downwards to the ground that is the line that you have to remember about stolon about offset ki mon rakhe cluster of hairs and tuft of roots from the node next we have sucker what is the point about sucker that you remember one part above the ground the other part below the ground adult stem you have a plant right you have a plant a plant or this is the soil you have one part of the stem below it will grow and then it will come out so one part below and one part above this is called as sucker example mint right pudina and banana also banana some say it's sucker some say it's corn stolon stolon or example tomar malver ki strawberry asile velisneria asile jasmine jasmine was an example of uh, stolon hmm. mint mint sucker 
চাকর বিন্তর কি হয় পদিনা তো যেটা তুমি উঠাব চেষ্টা করবা গোটে গজার উঠি নাই সিঙি যায় সিঙি যায় কিয় আধা পার্ট মাটির তলত থাকে কারণে ঠিক আছে সো হাফ পার্ট যদি মাটি থাকে দ্যাটস আ কলেজ এ চাকর সো হোয়াট ইউ রিমেম্বার ইজ দ্য এক্সাম্পলস এন্ড প্লিজ রিড ইট ফ্রম দ্য মরফোলজি পার্ট ওকে মরফোলজি পার পড়ি লবা ইয়াতে ইমান ডিটেইলস অফ ভালকে ক্লাসিফিকেশন দিয়া নাই বিকজ স্টেমস হ্যাজ বিন ক্লাসিফাইড আন্ডার ফোর ক্যাটাগরিজ ইন দ্য মরফোলজি রাইট চ্যাপ্টার এরিয়াল স্টেমস ফর ভেজিটেটিভ প্রপাগেশন সুগার কেন নেক্সট উই হ্যাভ লিভস লিভস অর বেস্ট এক্সাম্পল কি ব্রায়োফাইলাম দ্য কোয়েশ্চেন ইজ আস অ্যাবাউট ব্রায়োফাইলাম ইট সেলফ বুলবিল টুরিয়ান এইবাক সব মরফোলজিত করছো ডিফারেন্সেস উইথিন বাল্ব এন্ড বুলবিল এভরিথিং হ্যাজ বিন গিভেন নেক্সট উই হ্যাভ রুটস আগেন রুটস টেপ রুট এন্ড এডভান্টেজেস প্লান্স উইথ টেপ রুট সিস্টেম প্লান্স উইথ এডভান্টেজেস রুট সিস্টেম এক্সাম্পল খিনি পড়িলে হল ওয়েন এভার উই টক অবাউট রুট জেনারেলি দে রোন্ট হ্যাভ আ বাদ বাট ইফ আ প্লান রিপ্রডিউসেস উইথ দ্য হেল্প অফ রুট দে উইল হ্যাভ সামথিং কলড এজ আ রেডিক্যাল বাদ bud is a characteristic of root ne stem obviously stem right but if a plant reproduces by the root then they will have a bud that bud would be called as ki radical bud right. so vegetative propagation natural and artificial natural ami ko pra porhi morphology pra porhi stem roots leaves etc and artificial is something that you are going to study from this chapter artificial methods of vegetative reproduction by process like cutting grafting micro propagation etc etc first is cutting cutting ot ki ki porhibo libo please go to page number 16 whenever we talk about cutting question kene ke ahe the plants that could be propagated through cutting you have to identify the examples best example is always rose and the question has been asked about rose itself right so cutting kun bilak plants of koribo pari hetu janibo leibo second whenever we go for cutting we have to remember the application of certain types of hormones to induce the roots from the cutting part right and whenever we talk about hormones root inducing hormones ki asile oxygen we have not done that chapter we'll be doing it thik ase indol butyric acid kisuman types of oxygen ki kore roots induce kore roots induce kora hormones pura man ki holebo karon kati could be developed into a new plant so we need to develop the roots roots kene ke develop koriba hormones si kun tu hormone yate duta hormone diya ase iba aru naa indole butyric acid naphthalene acetic acid ebor details plant growth and hormones ot ami korim right next cutting which part of the plant would you use for cutting the most common is stem cutting kintu we can go for root cutting also we can go for leaf cutting also if you talk about root cutting we have examples lemon blackberry etc stem cutting the most common type of cutting that we see for vegetative propagation yate key point important examples important second the second point 20 to 30 cm long pieces of one year old stem so jundal stem you will use for cutting or you want to make a cut of the stem hey stem tal it should not be very old just one year old ho bolibo it should be a young stem right and the, what would be the length of that cut piece it will be around 20 to 30 cm out of the examples question has been asked about rose bougainvillea ei duta is sabse basic question ahi se rose and bougainvillea next is leaf cutting leaf cutting or etai question etai example the snake plant right sensiviera snake plant we can go for producing a plant with the help of leaf cuttings but again to go, uh, develop a plant from leaf cuttings need expertise it's not that normal people will go and cut a leaf and then plant it down and a new plant will form then you can have a common expertise knowledge lagibo right stem cutting is the most common among the different types of cutting that's all cutting out ki porim examples sobotse commonly asked question ki rose and bougainvillea bas next is layering what is layering layering is a rooting cutting method 
Now what is the difference between or what is the similarity between cutting and layering? Cutting is vegetative propagation, layering is also vegetative propagation and both of them are artificial. What is the difference? Cutting what ki kore? You cut a part of the plant from the plant body and then you develop that part into a new plant. Kindu yate ki hoi? Then what you do is you develop roots in a stem while being attached to the mother plant itself. Cutting out ki kore? You cut a plant, you cut a part, take the part away from the plant body, give certain types of hormones, induce the roots and then you plant the plant. In case of layering what you do? You do not cut a part fragment corridia. You just select a stem, right? You go for certain process, you apply certain hormones, you induce the rooting while it is stuck to the mother plant itself. Once the roots are developed while being stuck to the mother plant, only after that you cut it and you plant it down. Hey, to a whole difference. Cutting out ki koro directly duta part kori do. Eta part kati pala hai, ami process kili koro. Right? Okay. Uh, Types of rooting cutting method on which advantageous roots are induced to develop. Obviously, advantageous is hobo, can tap root to hobo no, tap root hobo legi le copra develop kore wali radical or pra. I mean, suppose we are taking a stem, we are taking a plant, adult plant or adult stem, I mean, select kore so, hey stem, the lot, I mean, rootings dim. So, that can you call no roots develop kore wali? Advantageous ne tap. Obviously, advantageous, right? Okay. Uh, are induced to develop on a soft stem while it is still attached to the parent body. Is the line understood? Layering ami kene ke koru? Mother plant alor lagi thakute ami layering koru. Right? During early spring and rainy season, one year old basal stem, all the points has been marked. Hegitai saba. What are the points that are important from this paragraph? First point, while attached to the parent plant, second point one year old stem, third point the season, rainy season or spring, early spring. Next is as far as layering is concerned, we have different different types of layering. Different different types of layering means what? The Ami Kuntu process follow Koriso. The first one is steep layering. Please look into the diagram. What you have done? There is a plant, right? It has stems. So, you want to go for layering. What do you do? You select a basal stem which is much closer to the ground, right? For layering purpose, I mean, ki korim, stem select korim, no? Whatever plant it might be, which stem will you select? A, a stem that is lower to the ground so that you can just bend it down, right? So, you take this plant. Plant to low play, you select the stem and then what you have done is you bend it down, put it inside the soil and then you peg. Do you understand this word? Peg buzipon with a clip. If you are talking about this as a plant, this as a branch, if you want to put it down, you have to put a pressure also. So that is what is called as pegging. Right? So take a plant. Select the stem, bend it down, put it under the ground, peg it down and keep it like this. After some time, ki hobo, junto portion of mati suise, tapra roots develop kori, you will see a baby plant. This is what is called as tip layering. What you are doing is you are doing the everything in the tip of a stem, right? Next. Example of tip layering, blackberry, raspberry, examples poriba legbo yate. One word that is important that is given in the diagram, just see defoliated word at a Diagram to defoliated word to assess. What is defoliated? You remove the leaves from the stem that is called as defoliated. The stem that you have chosen for tip layering, you need to remove the leaves first and then you go for the process of layering. That is what is called as defoliated. That was first one. Next, we have something called as trench layering. What is trench? Look into the diagram. Right? Just see, this is the ground or the soil. What you do in the ground, you develop a hole. 
ठीक है टेक द स्टेम पुट इट हियर पेग इट डाउन सो दिस इज वॉट इज कॉल एज ट्रेंच सिंस यू आर डूइंग इट दिस वे इट इज कॉल एज ट्रेंच इफ आर डूइंग इट दिस वे इट इज कॉल एज टीप वॉट इज वन बेसिक डिफरेंस फ्रॉम द टीप टाइप ऑफ लेयरिंग इट इज ओनली वन प्लान दैट विल डेवलप फ्रॉम दिस टाइप ऑफ लेयरिंग इफ सपोज दिस इज अ वेरी डीप ट्रांस एंड दिस इज अ वेरी लंग स्टेम जोटे जोटे पेक कर नतुन प्लान ऊल्ब आई यू अंडारस्टेडिंग right so tip layering is a method of vesicular propagation trench layering is also a method of propagation which method would be faster obviously trench would be faster why because you will see the development of more plants in the same go but in this case it is just one plant from the tip that's growing example of trench layering walnut and mulberry so keneke layering to kori sai according to that we have the different names either it's a tip or you have uh that go uh, if or you have gone for the trench type of a layering next we have serpentine serpentine layering or to again it's the same thing just go into the diagram take the branch what you do peg it down a very long stem beka korila tolot dila again this part again you have made a fold again you have done since you have developed it in the form of a s this is what is called a serpentine right how you go for the process the next one is mound layering what is a mound mound or mane ki hip right so what you have done again you have taken the plant right next step what you have done is you have cut this plant right It, here you have made a cut one part of the stem is above the ground and this is the root and this is a part of the stem right next what you have done is this is the stem part you have cut right what you do you cover it with sand clay dung etc you make a mound right soil everything so you make a heap and after that from here what you will see is different different plants arises Look into the diagram. So, mound layering ki likha sa. Out of the different types of layering, the question has been asked about mound layering itself, right? Or tip layering or example. Mound layering or sentence kita porha. The shoot is pruned and its lower part is covered by soil. Pruned mane? What is pruning? Cutting the apex, that is called as pruning. Act to cut it, dear. Hey, to come here, keep it going. Pruning. Bush, pila kami ki koru. To make a plant bushy, we prune it down, right? So that the shoots develop easily. So the shoot is pruned and its lower part is covered by soil, but the tip is kept outside the soil. When a number of new shoots develop, soil and sawdust are poured over the base to form a mound. What is a mound? a heap heap of soil right each shoot develops roots rooted plants are separated and new plants are formed example current what is current black current huni sa no black current pastry current ki bostu berry type right strawberry jene ka jene ka black current to thake right gooseberry apple jasmine pear etc So what is layering? It's a type of vegetative propagation. What you do in layering? You select a stem that is much closer to the ground, or we select a basal stem, right? What you do with the basal stem? You pack it down inside the soil. The process that you undergo for vegetative reproduction have different different names for it. How do? You, how are you going for the process? Is it only the tip that you are putting it down, or you are packing the plant into many points? 
etc etc jodi eneke kora that is stiff then we have mound etc etc right out of this what is example important is mound layering next is another type of layering is something called as gutti this is also called as air layering why is it called as such because we know whenever we have to go for layering we have to always select a branch that is much closer to the ground so that we can bend it down but sometimes what happens there are certain plants where the branches are quite above the soil and it's not possible to bend it down right not necessary each and every plant will have a very low or a basal stem right some in case of high tall plants no so if this is the stem you cannot bend it down it will break off so what do you do you take a stem you girdle the part do you notice know meaning remove some cells in the form of a ring that is called as girdling right so a stem dal or kisuman part to be remove koriba remove kori palai what you will give is you will cover it with moss 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 apply certain types of chemicals right and cover it with the help of a polythene paper right so what you have done selected the stem if this is the stem you have removed certain tissues this was the original stem ki korila kisman tissues gusai dilam this is called as girdling then you put some sand or soil then you put moss then you cover it with the help of a polythene and then frequently you go for applying water and other hormones and you keep it like this this area this wrapped portion right is called as what will happen after some time what we will see is since we are giving water we are giving hormones plus soil was already there after some time what we do is we will see roots developing from this portion then we cut off this part and this part could be planted as a new plant that is what is called as air layering go uh, through the uh, uh, this one na uh, air layering point to porhasun look into the diagram and read the sentence the gardel portion is covered with moist moss could you see that line paisa hai to line page number 20 method the gardel portion is covered with moist moss why is it covered with moist moss so that it can retain the water ami bahiro ba pani dim no pani to jate ne ke retain kore tar ami ki dim moss di dim right jodi moss na thake cotton di dim right so that it can retain the water moist a uh, moss or grafting clay question ki ahi se what is the composition of grafting clay so you have to know the word grafting clay and what it is made up of the grafting clay clay is made up of two parts of clay and one part of cow dung bracket ot likhit hoyso right so the question has been asked from that part grafting clay ki hoy two parts of clay and one part of cow dung and the next important point is which type of a plant could be vegetatively reproduced by means of air layering and the best example is lychee the question has been asked about lychee itself so artificial vegetative propagation the first method was cutting what is cutting what is so unique about cutting you go for the process while it is still attached to the mother plant first point second the type or the process that you follow accordingly we have different different types of layering third point what is that stem that you select for your process is a basal stem much closer to the ground 
For certain types of plants where the stems are high above the ground, we can go for something called as air layering or guti. And the best example of a plant that goes for air layering is lychee. What you do in air layering? You gardel a stem. What is gardel? You cut the certain types of tissues from the stem. Then you pack it down with grafting clay. What is grafting clay? Question he drew what he say. That's all. So that was the first method. Next is the second method of artificial propagation that is grafting. Talking about grafting again, what is important? First point, grafting bully kole. Uh, what is grafting? Attaching two different plants together that is called as grafting. In grafting we have two words, one is called as stalk and the other is called as skion. What is the stalk? The main plant where you are going to attach another part that is called as the stalk. The rooted portion is called as the stalk. The new part that you have brought from some other plant or the cut portion that is called as the skion. So question I have what is the stalk, what is the skion? Right? The part that you have brought from other plant that is called as a skion, the rooted portion that is called as a stalk. Next, grafting is possible only in case of, it is possible only in those plants where it has a cambium and cambium is present only in case of dicots and so grafting is possible only in case of dicots. Monocots or grafting koribo nuara karun cambium nathake. Right? Next, as far as uh, what is the necessity for grafting? Why did you go for a process called as grafting? So that you can have something that you desire. You have a plant, you are not satisfied with the fruit of the plant or maybe you are not satisfied with the flower of the plant. You want that plant to develop good fruits with some other characteristics. So what you do? You go to the wild, take one piece, cut piece, put it into the stalk and then a new plant develops from the grafting process. The next is when the new plant develops because of grafting, the new fruit or the new flower that has formed depends on which part, stalk ne skion, it's always the skion, right? The resultant would always be dependent on the skion and not the stalk. We were not satisfied with the stalk and that is the reason why we have grafted the skion. So obviously the offspring kar hobo, skion or hobo. Right? Stalk or if the stalk has buds, all the buds would be removed so that it does not develop. Because we are not satisfied, so we don't need the bud. Since we don't need the bud, before grafting, we remove all the buds that is present in a stalk. Right? Next is types of grafting and examples of grafting. Examples of grafting important. Types of grafting again, jeneke layering ami keneke kori so accordingly we have different types of layering, grafting also how you have done, what is the process that you have uh, followed, accordingly we have different different types of grafting, what is the type of a cut that you have made, right, accordingly we have different types of grafting, the first one is a tongue grafting, tongue grafting buli ketia kom, when you have a stalk, diagram is given in page number 21, stalk at all asse, stalk da lot ki kori sa, you make a tongue-shaped mark, no tongue-shaped and you just insert it, right? The new portion is called as skion, this rooted portion is called as stalk. So depending on this cut mark, if it looks like their tongue, so if this is the way you are making a cut, this type would be called as tongue grafting. Next we have wedge grafting, look into the diagram, wedge hobo lagile, it's a sharp V type, this type, right? And so the new part that you want to insert should also be like this. So this type would be called as a wedge. Next is crown grafting, crown grafting or kihoi, then you have the stalk, the rooted portion, this is the stalk, here you make many cuts and new new parts you plan or you graft it down right many crafts together this is called as crown 
in case of tongue it was just one skion in case of wedge also it was just one skion but in case of crown many skions together could be grafted in the same stock this is called as crown next is something called as side grafting as the name suggests you have the stock you develop a cut in the side so that you can just put it here side or pra he say so that is called a side so these are the different types of grafting next we have something called as a bud grafting normally whenever we talk about grafting we talk about stock and skion what is a skion it's most common the skion is always a stem but sometimes the skion could also be a bud if it is a bud that type of a grafting would be called as bud grafting is the point understood normally skion ki hoy stem part to kami skion buli kom kintu the new part that you have brought from a new plant if it is a bud and you want to put that bud into the stock tetal ta kami ki buli kom bud grafting so what you do you select the stock you make a cut here right you take a bud from different plant this bud you put it here clear next ekhane ami ki kore dim cover kore dim and we'll apply the chemicals and after this from here a baby plant will develop so if you have used a bud as a skion that type of a grafting would be called as bud grafting another thing when you have selected the bud it is important that the bud is not extracted as a individual bud it should also have a part of cambium of its parent plant attached to the bud because we know if there is no cambium grafting would not take place so what happens in grafting duta cambium ami attach koru stock cambium and skion cambium those have to be mixed together then only the grafting process will be successful so if it is a bud grafting in case of bud also it's not the bud that you directly take in and you put it there it's the bud together with the bud you should be collecting a part of the stem dui ta eke lage tar pisat hai ami grafting koribo pari is a point understood so this is all about grafting what you will study examples remember the word cambium remember the word stock and skion The next type is micropropagation. Micropropagation details we have already done. Tissue culture to Kori Swami. Kori Swami, strategy is not. We have done the tissue culture, right? Protoplast culture, callus culture, embryo culture, everything we have done. Remember, we have talked about certain words called as hybrid, cybrid, explant, right? So we have done. So we are not going to do it here. Please read it from that chapter. Micropropagation. so this was all about asexual next we go for sexual sexual reproduction buli kole it is also called as amphimixis phases in a life cycle three parts the juvenile the reproductive and the post reproductive juvenile to janu no what is the meaning vegetative phase is called as juvenile right reproductive phase in case of plants in case of animals we have different different words so ebila bostu we have an idea reproduction in plants puli kole we know what is the process that it undergoes in case of animals also we know so yate ki ase it's just a lump sum briefing right certain words like if you are talking about reproduction in case of plants certain words that we hear maybe unisexual bisexual monocarpic polycarpic ebila words pao thik tene ki animals uh, case of primates non primates seasonal breeders continuous breeders right okay so words there are page number 624 so monocarpic polycarpic annual biennial perennial we have discussed everything morphology discuss korisil na annual biennial perennial monocarpic polycarpic different ski flower only once in a lifetime or keeps on flowering once in a lifetime monocarpic right yearly polycarpic next is a uh, page number 24 monocarpic or jikhini examples diya ase 
maximum question has been asked about strobilanthus strobilanthus flower once in 12 years nila kurinchi buli koy no Are the words clear? Yet the explanation na lagay. Monocarpic, polycarpic, ibo ang buji pang. Animals or non primates, primate. Example of a primate, example of a non primate. Ito so base ani boro, right? Next, when we talk about primates and non primates, two words: osteous cycle and mensurial cycle, right? Mensurial cycle kar hoy primates or non primates or kiya osteous cycle. What is the basic difference? Something to do with the endometrium. Right, menstrual cycle. What happens? The endometrium, along with the blood and the mucus, comes away from the body. And in osteous cycle, endometrium is formed, but it is absorbed in the body. What is endometrium? It is a lining of the uterus. Right. Whenever it's time for fertilization, the uterus makes itself ready, and a layer of cells is formed that is called as endometrium. Both in case of primates and both in case of uh, non-primates. This endometrium, in case of primates, what happens if fertilization does not take place? You don't have a work of the uterus. Uterus or come kiti a chete fertilization hoy zabo. You have to make a place for the baby, right? If fertilization does not occur prior to fertilization itself, the uterus will developing a layer that is called as endometrium. If fertilization occurs, then it will give protection to the zygote. If it does not occur, what will happen to that layer of cells? That cells will break down. And then, together with blood and mucus, it will come away with the body. That is what is called as menstrual cycle, right? In case of non-primates, also during the process, the uh, or the during uh, this uh, during their fertilization, if fertilization does not take place before fertilization itself, endometrium develop kore. Endometrium to kintu primates or chene ke bhangi palai ulaya hai. It does not occur in case of non-primates. What happens to the endometrium? It gets absorbed in the body. Means what? If suppose if you are talking about the uterus like this, okay? If you are talking about the uterus like this, in case of non-primates, fertilization hobo buli. Aha the ki kore? They will develop a inner layer, protection to the uterus, right? So that it makes the zygote more protective, right? So if fertilization does not take place, zygote to form no kore. So this, what will happen? This, this endometrium, it will get absorbed in the cell itself. It does not get broken down, right? So reabsorbed in case of non-primates. In case of primates, this endometrium cells will break down and they come away. Right? Next, again, in case of animals, we have certain things called as seasonal breeders and continuous breeders. If they reproduce only during a particular season, tetral thalagami kibli kom seasonal. It is there throughout the year. It is held agami kibli kom continuous. Examples: the best example of seasonal is obviously frog. No rainy season, you hear the uh, that sound of the frog, right? So that's the breeding time. So this is all about reproduction. First is a juvenile stage, that is the vegetative stage. Next in the lifespan, the next stage is reproductive stage. Reproductive stage in case of animals, certain words to remember. In case of plants, certain words to remember. After reproductive stage, what comes next is the senescence stage. What is senescence? Stages leading to death is called as senescence, right? Or it is also called as a post-reproductive changes or phase. Our senescence chains, but post-reproductive changes, we like say, hey, who is responsible? Hormones, right? Page number twenty-six. Types of sexual reproduction we have already done. Isogamy and isogamy, correction, na ibla, right? We have talked about all this. Syngamy, types of sexual reproduction. Sexual reproduction divided into two types. Either it's syngamy or it's conjugation. If it is syn gamy, syn mane ki together, gamy mane ki gametes, you will see the gametes forming. They will fuse with each other. That is called as syn gamy. Another process of sexual reproduction or type of sexual reproduction is conjugation, which we have studied in case of bacteria. Bacteria through sexual reproduction is absent, but genetic material gets fused with each other. That type is called as conjugation. So sexual reproduction could be of two types: syn gamy and conjugation. 
सीन कैमी इज द मोस्ट कॉमन वन कॉन्जुकेशन को देखा पाओ जेनरली इन केस ऑफ लोअर ऑर्गेनिजम्स और बैक्टीरिया टू बी प्रिसाइज टॉकिंग अबाउट सीन कैमी मोस्ट कॉमन कंप्लीट परमानेंट एक्सेट्रा इट इज ऑफ टू टाइप्स डिपेंडिंग ऑन द सोर्स ऑफ द फ्यूजिंग सीन कैमी हम लगे गैमेट्स थक लगे एंड डिपेंडिंग ऑन फ्रॉम वेर द गैमेट्स इज डेवलप्ड वी हेव टू टाइप्स हाउ डज द गैमेट लुक लाइक वी हेव फोर टाइप्स इज अ पॉइंट अंडरस्टूड द सोर्स ऑफ द गैमेट्स two types right if the gamete came from the same plant or does the gamete comes from two different plant depending on that we have one type of classification and the next type of classification is how does the gamete look like both the gamete are morphologically same isogamy one big one small and isogamy right so just go through two types one is called as endogamy the other is called as exogamy what is endogamy fusion of male and female gametes from the same plant सेक्सुअल रिप्रडक्शन कमन कौन तो सिनगामी सिनगामी हम लगे गैमेट दो फ्यूज कर गैमेट एडाल पेरेन्टर पर दोडाल पेरेन्टर पर इफ इट कम्स फ्रम द सेम पेरेन्ट इट इज कल्ड एज वज एंडोगामी इफ इट कम्स फ्रम टू डिफरेन्ट पेरेन्ट्स इट इज कल्ड एज एक्सोगामी राइट नेक्स्ट इज डिपेन्डिंग ऑन द स्ट्राक्चार अफ द गैमेट आइसोगामी एन आइसोगामी और उगामी उव डिसकास एवरीथिंग उव हेव सामथिंग कल्ड एज होलोगामी अल्सो Hologamy is something that we have discussed before. Remember, hologamous. Holo means what? Entire. You have the entire organism fusing itself with the other organism. It is not the gamete. Duta case hoy. You have one organism. That organism produces a gamete. That gamete fuses with the other gamete. That's one condition. The second condition could be during the process of reproduction, gamete samet form no kore. Directly, organism behaves as a gamete. and fuses with the other organism that is called as hologamy the whole or the entire organism fuses with the other organism behaving as a gamete that is called as hologamy it occurs in case of yeast conjugation to to ami pori swe in case of biological classification we have done nothing to read about it next events of sexual reproduction uh, three events pre fertilization fertilization and post fertilization pre fertilization or ki thake formation of gametes and transfer of gametes that is pre fertilization fertilization or ki hoy fusion of gametes or post fertilization or ki hoy development of a structure or the organism from the zygote that is called as post so pre fertilization or ki thake gametogenesis gametogenesis mane ki the formation of gametes is called as gametogenesis এবলাক আমি পহিছো আইসোগ্যামেটস এন আইসোগ্যামেটস এসেট্রা ইন কেস অফ অ্যানিমেলস আকো ইউনিসেক্সুয়াল বাইসেক্সুয়াল দিস ওয়ার্ডস উই নো রাইট আর ইন কেস অফ প্ল্যান্টস ডায়োশিয়াস মোনোশিয়াস জানো মোনোশিয়াস কি হয় বাইসেক্সুয়াল ডায়োশিয়াস ইউনিসেক্সুয়াল রাইট एग्जांपल्स ইম্পর্টেন্ট Next in page number 29 there is a chart that is given number of chromosomes and the name of the organism that chart is important fruit fly house fly garden pea dog sugar cane ophiognosum etc etc right so question can ke ahe twice x would be given you would be asked to cal uh, calculate n or n would be given you have to count twice n right next is cell division during gamete formation we know cell division can ke hoy if it is a haploid parent it will form gametes by the help of mitosis if it's a diploid parent it will form gametes by the process of meiosis hmm. talking about transfer of gametes once the gametes are formed it has to be transferred transfer ro ami porisu siphonogamy judeogamy these are the words that we have studied right after gametes are formed they are transferred after being transferred they go for fertilization talking about fertilization we have two types of fertilization external fertilization and internal fertilization right just go into that external fertilization and external development the best exam okay talking about this part instead of going through the lines what you remember is etu porha loge loge first the example you remember because if you talk about fish everyone have an idea how does a fit, fish reproduce fish e kene ke reproduce kore eggs lay kore no eggs coat lay kore panit lay kore 
right, where it develops in the water itself. So, it is external development, right. So, remember the example first and then you go to the lines. External fertilization, external development, the base example is fish. For external fertilization and external development, a external medium is required and what is the most common medium? Water, right. Advantages and disadvantages, obviously disadvantages, why protection is less, right. Next we have internal fertilization, internal fertilization again divided into two types, internal fertilization and external development, the internal fertilization and internal development. In case of human beings, what is the type of fertilization that you see, external, the internal obviously internal. If it is internal, internal development ne external development of the baby, internal development right. Already mother body vitorte to some extent grow corinna size alone. So, in case of human beings what we see internal fertilization will internal development. In case of egg lying species for example, in case of uh, uh, birds egg lay kore no, egg ketia lay kore bo, fertilization ho jwar pisot. So, internal fertilization but external development, right. So, you have to know the terms and the example, right. Two types of fertilization, external and internal. External fertilization best example, fishes. Internal fertilization two types, internal fertilization, internal development, internal fertilization, external development. Internal fertilization buli kwa loge loge baby form korebo, zygote form korebo, it could be in the form of egg also, right. If you are talking about birds, fertilization hoi zai, egg to lay kore, egg to develop kod kore bahirot, right. In case of human beings, especially in case of mammals, we see the baby developing inside the mother's body, internal fertilization with internal development, clear. And which one is most advantageous? Obviously, internal fertilization with internal development can protection thake plus the baby gets its own food from the placenta, right? Okay. Siphonogamy, judeo siphonogamy, if like words I already porisu. Next we have post fertilization. Post for okay, pre fertilization of KOS like gametes were formed, gametes were transferred. After that, fertilization. Fertilization can you say internal by external? Internal can you say internal fertilization, internal development, internal fertilization, external development. What next after fertilization? Post fertilization. What happens after fertilization? The zygote is formed. What happens to the zygote? It forms into the embryo. So, embryogenesis and zygote formation are the two events that occurs during post fertilization phase. Now, talking about zygote formation, N into N will give you a cell that is twice N that is called as a zygote. Talking about zygote, I think you remember we have talked about the different types of life cycle, haplontic, diplontic, diplohaplontic, right. Depending on what? Depending on whether the zygote will undergo meiosis or not, right. Jedi meiosis undergo correct, it will be what diplontic, if it does not then it will be haplontic. And diplohaplontic also we have studied during our plant kingdom. Next is embryogenesis, again this is a part sexual reproduction in flowering plants, we have completed embryogenesis, study of the dicot embryo and study of the monocot embryo. What is the diagram at our DPLA, right? That was in case of plants. Development of the zygote in case of animals. Zygote develops either inside the body of the female parent or outside on the basis on and on that basis animals are classified into certain categories. Ebla words to kunisa no, viviparous, oviparous egg laying, giving birth, etc, etc, right. If you are talking about egg laying, what we understand, I got to quote from Kurisile, parent or vitoro, right, okay. So, in case of animals, we have a word that is called as oviparous, what is oviparous? Laying eggs, 
examples to ami janu no point of by hearting vv paris gives birth mammals the best example and another category that is called as ovo vv paris right third tha diya as so often page number 36 ovo vv paris means both the two process could be seen they will lay a egg the egg will hatch inside the parent body but after that it will come out normally when we talk about egg laying organisms তাতে এগটো কি করে আওয়ে ফ্রম দ্য প্যারেন্ট বডি হয় নহয় বাহিরলে উলাই দিয়ে ন এগটো কত ডেভেলপ করে প্যারেন্ট বডির বাহির রাইট কিন্তু ইয়াতে কি হব ইন কেস অফ আ বার্ড বার্ডে কি করে এগ লে করে এগটো যে লে করে দ্য এগ ইজ অবভিয়াসলি আউটসাইড দ্য প্যারেন্ট বডি বাট ইন কেস অফ ক্রিচার্স অর অর্গানিজমস হু আন্ডার গো ওভো ভিভি প্যারেস হোয়াট এ ডু দে উইল ডেভেলপ দ্য এগ দ্য এগ হ্যাচ ইনসাইড দ্য প্যারেন্ট বডি normally birds or egg to cot hatch korbo outside the parent body right okay ovo vivi paras or example to ami monot rakhibo leibo thik ase females retain the egg allows the development of the embryo inside the body but does not provide extra nourishment to the developing embryo as the placenta is absent right the egg hatches within the parent body kintu egg or pra jintu organism form kore it does not get the food why it does not get the food because it does not have the placenta in case of human beings for example after fertilization the zygote that is formed it develops into the embryo right he embryo to khwa bostu kobra pabo placenta pra pabo na pai if the placenta is not there tetla baby to to moriye jabo right so in this case of organism since the placenta is not there what they do is later they give birth kintu egg to prothomote body bhitor hatch kori jai right that is the difference next something called as parthenogenesis parthenogenesis ki hoy virgin birth without fertilization okay it could be natural it could be artificial artificial it could be done with the help of certain types of chemical certain type of pricks physical treatment chemical treatment etc natural could be on the basis of offsprings what they produce if they produce only pale they are called as dash partner uh, genesis if they produce only female they have a new term for that accordingly parthenogenetically जेनेटिकली एटा बेबी प्रड्यूस कर इफ दे आर प्रड्यूसिंग ओनलि मेल्स तहतक कि कम आर हेनोटके इफ दे आर प्रड्यूसिंग ओनलि फिमेल्स टेन दे आर कलेज थेलोटके एंड इफ दे आर प्रड्यूसिंग बोथ दे आर कलेज एम्फिटके नेचरल पार्थेनोजेनेस पेज नम्बर थार्टी सेवेन एग्जाम्पल्स इम्पर्टेन्ट एग्जाम्पल्स पढ़ लगे रटिफर्स क्रोसेसियास insects etc etc and certain examples of vertebrates also who undergo natural parthenogenesis examples important number 1 and number 2 caucasian rock lizard aru tiflina brahmina a smallest snake or poisonous snake of india So whenever you talk about partner genesis these are the three examples that you remember right caucasian rock lizard this snake right tiflina aru turkey we have a term called as complete parthenogenesis what is complete parthenogenesis certain insects or animals have no sexual phase and have no males male or female dui ta thakibo lagibo tetia fertilization hobo kisuman organisms ot okol female e ase male nai to fertilization kene ke hobo hobo tun hare so tahate offspring kene ke produce koribo parthenogenesis so complete absence of male he process tuk ami ki buli kom complete parthenogenesis right kintu in case of certain examples i think you have heard in case of honey bee honey bee is a base example they will undergo two types of reproduction sexual reproduction ho hoy parthenogenesis ho hoy that process is called as incomplete complete no koy 
যদি সেক্সুয়াল রিপ্রোডাকশন একবারে নহয় তেতিয়া তাক আমি কি বলি কম কমপ্লিট পার্থেনোজেনেসিস কম রাইট ইনকমপ্লিট পার্থেনোজেনেসিস বেস্ট এক্সাম্পল ইজ হানিবি হানিবির ইন কেস অফ আই থিঙ্ক ইউ নো কি কি থাকে মেলস দে আর কল দ্য ড্রোনস ওয়ার্কার্স থাকে আর কুইন থাকে হু ফর্মস দ্য কুইন ইট ইজ দ্য ফার্টিলাইজড এগ দ্যাট ফর্মস দ্য কুইন আনফার্টিলাইজড এগ ওকে ইউ হ্যাভ আ কুইন দ্য কুইন উইল লে এগস রাইট আউট অফ দ্য এগস শি হ্যাজ লেড সাম এগস উইল গেট ফার্টিলাইজ বাই দ্য মেল পার্ট এন্ড সাম উইল রিমেন আনফার্টিলাইজ দ্য আনফার্টিলাইজ কনভার্ট ইট সেলফ ইন টু মেল অর ওয়ার্কার্স ফার্টিলাইজ ওয়ান ডেভেলপস ইন টু আ কুইন রাইট সো উই সি বোথ দ্য টু প্রসেস সেক্সুয়াল রিপ্রোডাকশনও দেখা পাও সেক্সুয়াল রিপ্রোডাকশনের কারণে কি ফর্ম করব জাইগোট জাইগোটরপর কি ফর্ম করব কুইন আনফার্টিলাইজ এগটোত তারপরও অফস্প্রিং এটা ফর্ম করব কি ফর্ম করব ড্রোন ড্রোন ইজ দ্য মেল পাত রাইট মেল অর ড্রোনস আর অলওয়েজ ফর্ম ফ্রম আনফার্টিলাইজ এগস ইন কেস অফ হানিবি হু লিগস দ্য এগস অবভিয়াসলি দ্য কুইন লিগস দ্য এগস Another example, Ephidor for the answer, there are certain insects who will lay the eggs and either they will go for sexual reproduction or parthenogenesis depends on the season. Ketia egg lay hoi se. In spring, if the aphids lay the egg, they will all develop into females. At the end of summer, some females will produce males and females parthenogenetically. Both males both mate to produce fertilized eggs means what aphid is an example where again you see both the two process sexual reproduction to dekha pao parthenogenesis to dekha pao depends on what whether they will undergo sexual reproduction or they will undergo parthenogenesis depends on what depends on the season at which season they have laid the egg right next is the third example is turkey turkey is the best example of parthenogenesis 40% of male turkey are formed by parthenogenesis 60% of male and female by sexual reproduction so here in case of incomplete parthenogenesis ami tin ta example disu eta hol honey bee eta aphids aru eta turkey in both the three cases sexual reproduction o dekha pai parthenogenesis o dekha pai right so just remember the examples khali maximum question has been asked about honey bee out of the three examples and finally we have pedogenetic parthenogenesis pedogenetic parthenogenesis only one line if parthenogenesis occur in the larva stage it is called as pedogenetic parthenogenesis tar bahire are ko ahane next tar eta question ahe pedogenetic parthenogenesis is seen in it is seen in liver it is seen in liver fluke understood পেডিওজেনেটিক পার্থনোজেন পেডিওজেনেটিক মানে কি ইয়াং স্টেজ লার্ভা স্টেজতে পার্থনোজেনেসিস হয়ে গেছে দ্য লার্ভা ফর্মস আ ইয়াং ইন্ডিভিজুয়াল রাইট দ্যাট ইজ কল্ড এজ পেডিওজেনেটিক কত দেখা পো লিভার ফ্লু কত দেখা পো সো ইটস জাস্ট এ এক্সাম্পল দ্যাট ইউল রিমেম্বর নেক্সট টকিং অবাউট নেচারেল পার্থনোজেনেসিস ইফ ডিউরিং দ্য প্রসেস ওনলি মেল অফ স্প্রিংস আর ফর্ম দেন ইট ইজ কল্ড এজ আর হেনো টকি এইকিটা ওয়ার্ডৰ মিনিং কিটা লাগিব হোৱাট ইজ আৰহেনো টকি হোৱাট ইজ টেডি টকি এণ্ড হোৱাট ইজ এমফি টকি ইফ অনলি মেলস আৰ প্ৰডিউচ বিকজ অফ পাৰ্থনোজেনেসিস দ্যাট ইজ কল ইজ আৰহেনো টকি ইফ অনলি ফিমেলছ আৰ প্ৰডিউচ তেতিয়াহ'লে তাক আমি কি বুলি কওঁ টেলি টকি আৰু দুইটা যদি প্ৰডিউচ কৰে এমফি টকি অনলি মেলস ইন কেচ অফ বীজ ৱেছ প্ৰটিফৰ্ছ এটচেট্ৰা টেলি টকি ককেশ্যন ৰক ৰিজাৰ্ট ইম্পৰ্টেণ্ট আৰু টিফলিনা or amphi talking in case of aphids turkey etc both male and female are form and next we have artificial parthenogenesis jenike parthenogenesis ki hoy formation of offspring without fertilization naturally hobo pare artificially hobo pare naturally we have discussed artificially with the help of certain physical and chemical treatment physical treatment ki ki prick of a needle electric shock exposure to high temperature etc etc if you're talking about chemical exposure addition of urea fatty acids etc so artificially you ami parthenogenetically eta organism ok reproduce koribo paro that's all a last thought eta word dia ase sequential hermaphroditism 
इमान इम्पोर्टेन्ट नो होय हार्मे फ्रोडाइट माने की बोथ सेक्सेस टुगेदर होय ना हार्मे फ्रोडाइट तो सो याते याते एग्जांपल दिया से समथिंग अबाउट कोरल रीफ फिश राइट कोरल रीफ फिश और की होय इस कॉल्ड एस रेसी इमान बीसी डिटेल्स नाला की याते Sequential hermaphroditism or sentence to Pohiswa. If an organism can reverse the sex, that is called a sequential hermaphroditism. Female asile, all of a sudden male hoi gol. That is called a sequential hermaphroditism. Here, example ki is a coral reef. Coral reef fish is a fish which is a female version, right? It stays amongst many, many fishes. Think of eta male thake matro. Hey, male to zeri moriza. It's almost like a harem. Harem si ni pao no? Raza bhi lakar se harem asil zanu ne zanu. You have the male one and you have many queens together staying in the same place. Ki bhi li koi hai tuk? Ajan raza bohu drani. Eke lage thakke ata jay kaat. Hey, place to ki bhi li koum? Harem. Mythological serials to anai ni ke? All those Tipu Sultan and all those things no? So, bohu thakke. You have one king and you know that Okay, kings be like they used to marry many queens. It's not only one that they have. So, Jimanpur queens are say, Gute queens be like at a jagat thake no. And it is only the main queen that stays with the king and rest of them stay in a place and that place is called as harem. So, what is the significant, uh, significance of harem? It's a place where many females with just one male. That's a harem. In case of this fish also, it stays in a harem. Bohut females are say, Okal eta male are say, coral reef fish. If the male dies off, then what will happen? One of the female converts itself into the male. It becomes a male. That is what is called a sequential hermaphroditism. Right? Just a term to understand. Porikhar karne important no hoy. So this is all about the chapter. Hmm? Example of? Diana nikliyate? Shark dia se shark. Nai dia na shark likhi tu. So please go through the PDF once again and go through your NCRT book and doubts can you just collect the doubts and ask. Sentence wise it looks as if we are done our chapter no? Kira iman to monitor ki bo na lage. Important points kira monitor ki ba that's all. So I think that's all for today. Thank you.